Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy, Steve Penn. And I want to address the Andre 3000 new album, New Blue Sun. A lot of people giving him flack because he's playing the flute. But you guys got to realize, man, most of the people that's saying that are really hip-hop fans and they was expecting to hear lyrics and things like that. Hell, I was expecting to hear lyrics, but I'm also, um, I just love music, so I listen to all types of music, not just hip-hop. And what I realized is um, this album, New Blue Sun by Andre 3000, is really the real sample pack. You got a lot of these producers out here selling loops to other producers. You know what that's called? That's called cheating. And moreover, it's called laziness. What Andre did was give you a whole album full of material that if you were smart enough, artists, some of you producers, you would realize that, man, he put a lot of, um, got a lot of joints in there, man. A lot of, a lot of songs, a lot of samples, a lot of new beats. So when you look at it from that perspective, I give him his props, man. You know what I'm saying? When I first listened to it, I was like, yo, this is a jazz album. Cause I listened to it through my phone. Then I plugged in and put my headphones in. And I realized that, yo, this is like a Alice Coltrane album. This is like Roy Ayers. This is like Herbie Hancock. This is like all the people, um, some of your favorite artists and producers sample from. That's what he just did. Now, the average fan of hip-hop that's just listeners, they're not going to get that. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to understand that concept. Maybe Andre 3000 did this. On purpose, because if you start chopping his samples and, and his loops and his music, that's royalties for him. So I think it was a, a master, a genius, a mastermind plan for him to do that. You know, so salute to Andre 3000, man. You know, you did a good thing, and um, I think it's pretty dope. And I definitely gonna mess with it and see what I can find in it, because there's a lot of gems in there. <laughs> there's a lot of gems in there. Word up. Um, I think this is an album that people will probably sample 10, 5 years from now. And since everybody talking about it, don't be surprised that cat, like, cats like Pete Rock and Premier are already fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is on some next level shit. You know what I mean? It's on some next level shit. It's some musician shit. And I feel them. Word up. I feel them. All right? So it's your boy, Steve Penn. It's my two cents on the Andre 3000. Yo, let me know what y'all think. Leave your comments and stuff. Peace.